Problem set for lesson three. The directions say build the rectangular prism. Picture below to the left with your cubes. So go ahead and build that now with your cubes. So let's take a look at the first one. Um, remember we talked about let's show the layers of the earth <coughs> first or layers of a wedding cake, right? Okay. So show that one first. And on this one, I want to use my highlighter and show you what you need to count to figure out your total. So you'll count the top layer of your cubes. And how many were in the top layer? Twelve. 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 So you can write it like this if you want, boys and girls. It's a little easier to put it on there like that. Okay. So how many layers of 12 do I have here? Two. You have to get these in the correct order. The first one is layers, then the number of cubes, and then the total volume. Okay? So your assignment today that I'm going to grade is just like this. It's going to be like the front of your problem set. Okay? The next way we talked about dividing it was like the slices of bread in a loaf. Okay? So in that case, I'm going to highlight, or I'm going to count just the cubes on the end when I get to that point. So look at the board. How many equal parts do I divide it into? Five. Well, five lines. How many Six. parts? Six. Six parts. So you'll draw five lines and draw vertical lines. You okay? And make sure these are angling toward the back. And this is the way that we said, how many cubes are on the end here? Four. Four. So you could put a four in each, on each layer. So how many layers did we have? Six. Six. That has to go first. How many in each layer? Four. And the total is, of course it's the same, right? Okay, the next one. That's the Subway sandwich. So, we're going to divide it into two vertical layers. And just count the front. How many are on the front? Twelve. Don't try and put it in those little spaces. Write it out to the side. You can write it at the bottom or you can write it at the top. I think I prefer the top. This is two layers of 12 again, but it's not the same as the first two layers of 12. Okay? How are you doing? Okay. So let's take a look at the <coughs> next one. You're going to have to build it first, and then we'll decompose the layers. <coughs> okay, take a look at, we'll start with the layers of the earth. So the layers of the earth are going horizontal. Look at the board. Two, four, six. That's the total, but how many layers do I need? Three. Three. So you'll draw two lines and two lines. Do that now with your pencil. Okay. <coughs> and each layer, so we've got the top eight, here. Eight. Two, four, six, eight. So you can do it like this. So remember, start with layers. How many layers do we have? Three. 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 And eight in each layer. How many cubes all together? Wow. Looks different than the first one we did, doesn't it? Okay, the next one. So this is the slices of bread. So they're going down. How many lines down? Three. 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 Okay. So you can put one in the middle. Okay. 
and then straight across. And those, can you look at the board? You would just count the front. Six. So you can do it like this. Or on the side, it doesn't matter. Okay. And how many <coughs> layers is that? Four. Four layers of six. Six. Good. The last way, subway sandwich, yeah. so you're going to divide just like that, in half right here. For me, you're going to count the left side. So how many in the left side? Um, 18. Four groups, uh, or three groups <coughs> of four. How many? Twelve. So how many layers do I have? Two, two, two layers of twelve. Twenty-four cubic centimeters. Okay? Fist to five. How are you doing? Pretty good? Yeah. Okay. So let's look at the next page. This is a little bit more complicated because they put them into word problems for us. I'm not sure we're ready for it, but we're going to give it a try. Okay. So Josh and Jonah were finding the volume of the prism to the right. Don't attempt to build it. We don't have enough cubes. Okay? I said that in one <coughs> two, and what did they do? Did they they tried to build it. And guess what? They didn't have enough cubes. Okay? So the boys agreed that four layers can be added together to find the volume. Josh says that he can see on the end of the prism that each layer will have 16 cubes in it. Jonah says, why are you touching your cubes? Scoot them back. Jonah says that each layer has 24 cubes in it. So what they're saying is, they, they're both saying you can make four layers. Okay? Who is right? Explain. How you know using words, numbers, and or pictures. Okay, so 16 cubes, 4, 8, 4, 8, 12, 16. So I'm pretty sure Josh was counting these. Yeah. There's not four layers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They were doing that the other way. Well, but they, the boys agree that four layers can be added together to find the volume. Josh says that he can see on the end of the prism that each layer will have 16 cubes in it. Is he right? Yes. yes. No, he's no, not. No. Because 4 times 4, or 16 times 4, is what he's thinking it's going to be. Oh. And it's not 16 times 4, is it? What is it? 24 times 4. No, it's 24 times 4. So that would be here. So who's right, Jonah or Josh? Jonah. Jonah is correct, okay? Jonah, let me tell you what they wrote in the book, and then we'll figure out our own shorter way to say it, don't you think? Jonah is right. Each layer has six across and four deep, so 24 cubes in each layer. 24 times, tw tw times 4 is 96. Josh sees the 16 on the end, but he'd have to multiply by 6 going across, not 4. He would get 16 times 4 equals 64, not 96. So Jonah is right. That was too many words, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, let's start with Jonah is right. I'm going to put because four layers of 24 equals 96 cubic centimeters. <coughs> you agree? Yeah. That's a little shorter way to write it. Okay. Did you write that? Can I read it? <coughs> so Josh would have to multiply six 
layers times 16 to get 96 centimeters cubed. So he is incorrect. I think I'm going to add a little bit more to that because four layers of 16 <coughs> equals 64 cubic centimeters. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So go ahead and make sure you write that down. Thank you for not messing with your cubes. I appreciate it. Okay, so the next problem, this is the one that's going to challenge our brains a little bit, and the last one might challenge them too much. We'll see, okay? Marcos makes a prism one inch by five inches by five inches. Now, here's what I want to show you. This could be technically length times width times height. So all we have to do is multiply those three together, okay? And we will get the volume of Marcos's prism, okay? He then decides <coughs> to create layers equal to his first one. <coughs> Fill in the chart below and explain how you know the volume of each new prism. So let's do the volume of the first prism. Go ahead and write that down. Now, in my mind, I'm going to do this. Are you? Yeah. What's 5 times 5? 25. And then times 1? 25. So the volume of Josh's original prism is 25 cubic centimeters, correct? Okay. How would it change if the one layer becomes two layers? You would have to times two. You have to double 25. Double 25. So the volume of the second one would be what? 50. 50 centimeters cubed. Okay. So how do I explain that? I'm going to start with his first prism. Okay. The first prism... is... 25 cubic centimeters. So 25 doubled is 50 cubic centimeters. Do you agree? <coughs> Make sure you don't accidentally write a 2 instead of a 3 like I did earlier today. We did that yesterday. Okay, so now, what if instead of two layers, don't shout out the answer, but think about it, I change it to four layers. So it's going to be four layers of 25. So what will it be? How'd you do that so fast? Quarters in a dollar? Yeah. Four quarters in a dollar? Okay. So on this one, I think I'm just going to write my um, four layers of 25 is 100 cubic centimeters. That sound okay to you? Okay, the next one. Now, I don't want you to shout it out, but what if... We changed the four layers, added three more on top, and got seven. Think about it. Use your quarters. No, I said don't shout it out. Use your knowledge of quarters and dollars to help you do this quickly in your head. 
So how many more did we add to four? Three, right? Yeah. Three, three times 25 is? 75. So the answer would be 100 plus 75. What is it? Okay. So all I'm going to say here is seven layers <coughs> is 75 cubic centimeters more than four layers. Okay, um, Dara, you want to get the door for me, please? Thank you. We'll start on the next one in a minute. So this says imagine. So you cannot use your cubes. Can I trust you? Don't use your cubes. Okay? So here's what it says. Imagine the rectangular prison below is 6 meters long, 4 meters tall, and 2 meters wide. Hey, wait a minute. I think we have length times height times width. It doesn't matter what order we do those in, does it? No. Okay, so let's label it and then we'll read the rest of the directions. Six meters long. <coughs> four meters tall. Two meters wide. You agree? Yes. Okay. Now it says draw horizontal. So which way are we going to do it? <coughs> Loaves of bread, Subway sandwich, or layers of the earth? Layers, layers of the earth is horizontal. Okay? All right. Draw horizontal lines to show how the prism could be decomposed into layers that are one meter in height. So if I'm doing horizontal, I'm going to need four equal parts, one meter each. So how many lines do I draw? Three. Very good. Now, we don't know the top, do we? <coughs> we might be able to figure out the bottom, though. Five. Six times two equals Six times twelve. Two twelve. Equals 12? Okay, so keep that in mind, right? Now let's fill this in. It has blank layers from bottom to top. Three. Four. 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 Okay. <coughs> Each horizontal layer contains blank cubic meters. Twelve. You think it's twelve? Yes. Yeah. So two six. rows of six? Yes. Okay. The volume of the prism is? 48. 48 cubic centimeters. Now, sometimes you'll get a problem that says um, the volume of the prism is 48 centimeters <coughs> and the height is 4 figure out the base. And you won't have these measurements with you, so I'm going to show you the problem I would do. Are you ready for this? So the volume is 48, and the height is 4. What is the base? 12. 12. So you could do division also. If you don't have these measurements, 6 times 2, you can divide the total area by the height and get the answer. Okay? All right. So that's the lesson. <coughs>